assalamu alaikum students this is the second lecture related to the manufacturing account in first, uh, first lecture we discuss the basic definitions and basic concept of manufacturing account now in this lecture i am going to explain the form of manufacturing account which is used to prepare in financial accounting it will be started same like income statement and SOFP with the name of the business. On the top, you should write the name of the business. Here, I am using the uh, alphabets A, B, C as a name. Then, you should uh, uh, you will write the name of the document which is manufacturing account and use the phrase for the year ended and then write the year ending date. For example, if 31st December 2022 is the year ending date, financial year ending date, we will consider the financial year ending date. Then we will write here uh, 30, uh, 31st December 2022 if uh, 31st December 2022 is the financial year ending date of the business. Then we will use two columns to write the amounts. So, these dollar signs represent the two columns for amounts. You can prepare it in three columns, but I will prefer or I prefer to prepare in two columns. It is quite easy to handle. The first heading in manufacturing account will be raw material consumed. We will start from direct costs. And in direct costs, we will write at the top raw material cost first and here you will give the heading raw material co uh, consumed or cost of raw material consumed then you will write the opening inventory of raw material means cost of opening inventory of raw material which will be given in the list of balances or trial balance same like uh, previous questions uh, which we discussed in income statement of sole traders or partnership or limited companies uh, uh, the opening inventories values closing inventories values are will be given in the question so we will use opening inventory of raw material here and then we will write the value of purchases of raw materials purchases of raw materials means the amount paid to buy the raw materials uh, I want to tell you one thing, there may be uh, uh, use direct material word instead of raw material. So direct material or raw material is the same thing. Then carriage inward paid to bring the raw materials to factory uh, will be added to the raw uh, purchases of raw material cost. And return outward or return, uh, purchase return of raw materials will be subtracted here. And at the end, closing inventory uh, of raw material will uh, should also be subtracted here. And this will give you the answer of raw material consumed. Same like cost of goods sold or cost of sales, which we calc uh, calculate in income statement. Here we are uh, using the same format uh, or same formula to calculate the raw material consumed or cost of raw material consumed. Using opening inventory, then adding purchases, carriage inward and re subtracting return outward and closing inventory. So by this way, we uh, calculate the raw material consumed and then the second direct cost is manufacturing wages or production wages or direct labor or factory direct uh, labor so these all words used for the same thing means will manufacturing wages or direct wages so direct wages will be recorded here and added to the raw material consumed cost and third direct cost is the direct expenses and normally uh, direct expenses are clearly defined in the question or uh, written uh, with the name of royalties so direct expenses are given or royalties are given 
so both are the same thing royalties are also considered direct expenses because without paying the royalties we, uh, the business can't produce the goods so these are directly related to the production so it should uh, as recorded as a direct cost and remember one thing direct, direct cost are normally variable cost and uh, uh, it is directly vary with the output if output increase increases then these costs will increase if output decreases then these costs will decrease after recording these direct costs we will make the total of all three things means raw material consumed cost of raw material consumed manufacturing uh, wages and direct factory expenses we will add these three items and the answer will be recorded with the name of prime cost i told you in my first lecture prime cost and direct cost is the same thing after that we will give the heading of factory overheads factory overheads or indirect cost under this heading we record all expenses all uh, costs which are related to the factory but not categorized as a direct cost i am uh, giving you some examples but you should remember my words all costs which are related to the factory will be recorded here uh, the name may change in uh, uh, or may vary from question to question but the basic concept will remain the same the expenses related to the factory will be recorded under the factory overheads and which are related to the factory and directly related to the production like raw material manufacturing wages or direct factory expenses will be recorded in uh, as a part of prime cost so i am giving you some examples of factory overheads like indirect wages or factory wages these are the wages paid to the workers which are not directly producing the goods but they are operating the factory activities means like cleaning staff security guards of the factory so such kind of staff wages will be considered as a indirect wages or factory wages and will be recorded un under the heading of factory overheads i want to tell you one thing sometimes direct factory wages are not given and we consider factory wages as a direct wages but normally factory wages will be recorded here under the heading of factory overheads because now the question will be more clear and manufacturing wages or direct factory wages are clearly defined and factory wages or indirect factory wages are separately described in the question then factory rent factory insurance i am giving you different examples uh, factory insurance factory repairs all expenses which are related to the factory or mention the word factory with those expenses will be recorded uh, under the heading of factory overheads and all factory related expenses are also included in the factory overheads other than this machine related expenses will also be recorded in the manufacturing account like machine repairs machine depreciation these expenses are related to the factory because machines are used for the sake of production for the purpose of production so machine expenditures uh, will also be recorded as a factory overheads uh, factory depreciation factory repairs are uh, i am written uh, i am writing only few expenses which are uh, uh, just give uh, just to give the idea what type of expenses recorded in the factory overheads so factory related all expenses will be recorded here after that at the last item which i want to explain in the factory overhead which is the indirect material packaging material is consider uh, consider as a indirect material so you uh, you will record the indirect material under the factory overhead so in, uh, for the uh, calculation of indirect material cost there may be opening inventory of indirect material 
will be given in the question, closing inventory will be given in the question and per also purchases are given. So, you will use same like cost of sale uh, calculation or raw material consumed calculation formula, opening inventory plus purchases of indirect material minus closing in inventory of indirect material or packaging material because I told you packaging material is considered as an indirect material. So, opening inventory plus purchases plus close, uh, minus closing inventory of the indirect material uh, use and calculate the value of indirect, indirect material consumed and that value of indirect material consumed will be recorded as a factory overheads. Then make the total of all factory overheads and this total of, of factory overheads will be added to the prime cost the answer will be the total factory cost. After getting the total factory cost, only uh, few adjustments are further required to calculate the finished good cost. Now slide is changed. That's why I am again writing the total factory cost here. After that, we will adjust the work in progress. Work in progress are the goods which are not fully completed. So, we will make the adjustment for the work in progress. Here, we will calculate the increase or decrease in work in progress because work in progress inventories were, uh, will be given in the question means opening inventories and closing inventories of work in progress will be available in the question. We will use them to calculate the uh, increase or decrease in work in progress value. If there is increase in work in progress value, this means closing inventory of work in progress is greater than the opening inventory of work in progress means more goods are still incompleted. So, we will subtract this increase from the total factory cost. And if there is a decrease in work in progress, this means opening inventory of work in progress is greater than the closing inventory means closing uh, less quantities of goods are incompleted. Uh, so, uh, we will add the difference to the total factory cost to find out the finished good cost or completed unit costs. First, we will uh, write the opening inventory of work in progress. Then, we will subtract the closing inventory of work in progress from the opening inventory of work in progress and that will give us increase or decrease. So, increase will be subtracted because closing inventories of work in progress are higher. This means uh, these goods are not uh, fully completed and we are going to calculate the cost of fully completed units. That's why we will subtract this amount if closing inventory is less than the opening means uh, part of opening inventories was uh, now fully completed. So, we will add that. Uh, to the total factory cost to find out the cost of finished goods. So, after adjustment of work in progress, the answer uh, will be the cost of production or cost of finished good or finished good cost. I hope you understand the total format of the manufacturing account and basic theme uh, used to prepare the manufacturing account. The purpose of manufacturing account is to calculate the cost of production. That's why the majority items are added and these all items are costs. No income type items are recorded in manufacturing account. In manufacturing accounts, only costs are recorded. So, this is the second lecture of the manufacturing account. And uh, in this lecture, I explained the format. In next lecture, which will be the third lecture of the manufacturing account, I will try to solve the question related to the manufacturing account. Till then, Allah Hafiz.